Hello again everybody, and welcome back to the DLC. So... At this point, I think it's been about two weeks since I last played. Uh, and I don't... I don't really know why. I felt kinda burnt out, I guess. Maybe a little bit. It was just a lot of, like, backtracking. Uh, so in the meantime, I... Went and did all the stuff that I had to do in the backtracking. And now we're here. So I'm uh, I'm way ha higher scatter tree level now. I'm uh, level 18 now, as you can see right here. And I don't know. Uh, I did have to to Google because either it's like you spend four hours backtracking, or you can just use a guide instead. So I use a guide. Uh, so I've collected every scout fragment in the game so far. The last ones are up here. I know there's like f there's five right here, and they're gatekeep gate kept behind this boss down here. Commander guys, uh, so I don't know. The last times I I played like, last couple episodes, I was just not very, really having a good time. I didn't want to like rush, but I also didn't want to backtrack at all. Uh, but yeah, so I think this episode we're just gonna go and kill every boss we haven't killed so far. So maybe Metter. Oh yeah, also I've had a lot of time to think because you know it's been a week. So yeah, uh, this church is called Metter. Yeah, Madness Meteor, right? So that's one thing. So this this church is named after the boss down there, the mother of the fingers or whatever. Um, and this person that used to be right here, her her name is not Yuri. That's a, that's a boy who died out there in the graveyard. I know now. Uh, and also, when Ymir uh, was right here, with this like finger creature in this chair, when he was like caressing it or whatever, th that that was apparently. Uh, Yuri. So I think what happened is that there was also a, a chair guy like down here, hold on. Like down in this area, there was like a chair guy talking about being reborn from some some uh, some mother. So I think what's happening here is that the, the, the mother finger thing under this church takes people and then turns them into like the, the finger creatures or whatever. Which is, you know, my respect for Ymir has dwindled a lot, I guess. Um, but yeah, let's just go. I also switched back to this armor, because I think 18 is going to be enough at this point. So I want to kill this boss first, so that uh, level... I'm not going to kill it like really easy when I'm level 20. Sarah's still really cool. But yeah, I haven't, I haven't been recording in like two weeks uh, either, so I'm... Um, I'm almost out of footage. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm almost out of footage. And I'm also... Kinda not used to recording anymore, so I gotta get back into this. But yeah, I've learned a lot of stuff. Like, a lot of stuff in that time. So, uh, I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. Just had so much fun recording this videos, man. Okay, let's go. Sound hanging bell. Hopefully this will not go terribly, as it did last time. I really don't know, don't know how to dodge that, that boss either. I really have no idea. Alright, here we go. There we go. Alright. There it is. Met here. Mother of fingers, right? Yeah. Okay, there we go. Hopefully this will go a lot easier now. Also, her face, it was like thumb face, looks really familiar to me for some reason. Okay, that damage is way better. Jesus. Okay, never mind. That hurt a lot. Oh! Boy. Okay, I'm not really used to this anymore. I really... Just play it safe. Don't do that. Okay, three. Ow, the slaps. Yeah, I'm just taking- Oh, this attack is impossible to dodge! Look at that damage, man! I'm level 18 and shit! Oh man, come on. Okay, I think maybe I'll have to be level 20 for this. We'll, okay. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Yeah, her face looks really familiar to her, like a seal I've seen or something. Okay, and you know what? I'm just gonna go fight Commander guys instead, because I'm... Yep. Yeah. Uh, I really don't f feel like fighting that boss right now. Maybe I'll have to switch off this armor eventually, but... I know, I like it. Okay, 
So I think last time I was like level 15 or something. Uh, my only critique so far for this DLC is that I thought there would be more scatter tree fragments, but I don't know why they're so... Oh Jesus Christ. I don't know why they're so easy to miss. If, uh, if they're that important. Like I found a, b a bunch of random ones like in a cave somewhere. Like I, I could have passed that 10 times without knowing that was there. So I don't know why they have it designed like that. Either it, it forces you to either Google it's a, or you have to backtrack for like five hours. Okay, let's see. Commander guy is... Okay, this should be easier, right? I don't think Torrent is an option here, he's just gonna kill Torrent either way. Let me try to make him charge into this thing. Okay, dodge into him, right? Yeah, that worked. Then hit him one time. Okay, he still hits me really hard. That was very delayed. Ow. Ah, shit, man. Okay, I tried to dodge. I feel like this whole episode is going to be this boss. It might be. That damage is way better though. That, that attack one-shot me last time. Okay, he turn comes around again. That was a long combo. I tried to dodge. Couldn't do it. Ow. Okay, that doesn't do that much. That is a lot. But I'm dealing very good damage now at, at this point. Okay, he kicks. He missed me. Awesome. I haven't, seen, I haven't even seen phase 2 yet of this. It's fucking ridiculous, man. Okay, dodge him. There we go. That was greedy! Oh, okay. That was very greedy. Okay, you, have to, you can only hit him one time, I guess. Okay, here comes this fucking long ass combo again. Oh shit, I missed. Get back in the please. Okay, I'm done. Well, that was way better than I expected, at least. Okay, I, didn't, I need to just learn this fight. This is definitely very doable. My friend said this was like the worst boss in the game. It's just not very fun to fight. But I don't know. Maybe I'll have a better time fighting it. But I don't know why you can use Torrent here. Torrent just seems completely useless. Okay, this is gonna take the entire episode, <laughs> for sure. He also only spawns over here now, I think they patched that maybe. He only spawns over, over by the door now instead, that's awesome. Okay, let's go. BAM! It hit me, okay. Well, I dodged a little bit to the side, maybe that's why. You have to dodge right into him, I think. Or you're just really precise. Don't kick. Thank you. He missed me, okay, that was super lucky. Okay, dodge into him. That didn't work. Really, I don't know how they're supposed to dodge that attack. Don't kick. Okay, thank you. Oh no! Oh. Okay, you can't get greedy here at all. You just. The game does not allow it. Okay. Thank you. The kick is a scariest move. Oh, okay, that's also pretty scary. Alright, he deals just so much fucking damage, man. Like, Jesus. I can't even reach him. Alright, he's gonna charge again. No. Like, I, again, I haven't even seen phase 2. That, that That is so precise. Okay, please, man. What, again? What did I do? What, again? Please, okay, just go! Okay, it, it missed me, awesome. Maybe if I dodge backwards or something, maybe that'll work. Okay, I'm actually doing damage to him at this point, don't kick! Okay, he did that shit, and then he kicked, okay, okay, okay. Here comes this long-ass combo. Okay, he comes around again, I forgot. Alright. Then he's done. Alright, cool. Let's see, I'm learning the fight. Oh, no, no, no! Mmm, that was bad. Really bad. 
Okay, I don't have barely have time to heal right there. Oh no, what? There will be a second phase and like... He just pops instantly. Okay, what the fuck? No, you can't do that. Don't go Verdon on me, man. Okay, is this a Verdon reference, this whole boss? Like, every other boss in the game? This is a giant reference to something! Don't pull me in, please. Okay, I have no- I don't know it moves anymore. I'm dead. Okay, cool. It might just be a Verdon reference, honestly. That, like, meter attack he did right there is such a Verdon move. Maybe he, like... He trained in the Rodan or something, I don't know. Maybe it's like a... What are those guys called again? Like Golden Lions or whatever? Okay, he still hits really hard. So I, uh... Yeah, okay. Just go again, I guess. Maybe I'll use one of these. Yeah, I might have to switch off this armor. But not yet. Go! <laughs> Actually, I, I got blocked by the swords, man. Okay, I need to be way more aggressive, I think, because he's just gonna... Okay, I can't be aggressive, he's just gonna kill me. I don't think poise even... Okay, that attack is really scary. I don't think poise even matters. Maybe I should switch off. Ow. No! Okay, the game lagged. Awesome. I, I, I'm lifting my legs up again. Like, I'm, in, I'm, in, I'm actually in danger. Oh, fuck that move. Oh no, he does this long ass move! I'm dead. Okay, not dead. Not dead. If I switch off my armor though, I'm gonna deal even less damage to him, so I'm just like, what am I- is he weak to like lightning or something? I mean, I'm, I'm literally max level right here. He's, he's, he's guarding the rest of the scatter tree fragments, so this is literally like intended level, right? Ow. I should have seen that coming. Yeah, I, I got you that time. Fucking knew it. I missed. Don't kick! Oh, I knew it, man. He comes around. Okay, I got punished. I tried to like, I was testing out some random like bullshit right there and I got punished heavily for it. Dodge, okay, cool. Is there like a weak spot? Is, is a pig a weak spot? Is he the weak spot? Ow, how did that even... No. Okay, now I go second phase! He just pulls that up whenever he wants, I guess. Or maybe you can actually dodge it. Uh, Okay, that didn't hit me somehow. What the fuck? What? How? How did that not hit me? Okay. Cool. Oh, oh, he has rock now. Oh, awesome. Okay, cool. I only have three flasks left, though. This is terrible for my health. Oh no, he has the fucking Astel shit. Oh. Oh no. Okay. Just get out of there, I guess, when he does that. Is, he, is the rock gonna, like, kill him? No, it doesn't deal any damage at all, almost. Alright, go! I have no idea how you're supposed to dodge that. If you dodge into him, it hits you. If you dodge to the side, it hits you. It's just... He just kind of hits you whenever he wants. Okay, I'm dead. Well, I did substantially better that time. Jesus Christ. I just need to learn his moves more. This is a endurance fight. It just has a shit ton of health. Like, so much health. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I can take him. I can take it. Let me just switch around these things. Why do I have this? Or is this arcane? Um, maybe I'll use this. Enormously boosts physical damage negation. What else do I need? Uh, anything that can like block his... Gravity, do gravity doesn't deal magic damage, right? I don't think so, at least. Uh, I think I'm good, actually. I think I'm good for now. Yeah, right. Let's just let's just go for it. Traverse the mist. So you can actually apply rot to him. That's pretty good. You can probably apply bleed to him as well, though. But yeah, still. All right, here it comes. Let me try. Just no, no. It hits you.
That's so delayed! God damn. Oh no! Oh, okay. I know that attack like one shot. You hit you twice for some reason. And I got all my flasks. Thank you very much. Okay. Just dodge into him. Okay, that works. You just have to be very precise. It, it's just a really precise move, honestly. Can you stop? Ow. No, you can do that. Alright, let me do this. Come back. Bam. 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 Okay, and then now? Why didn't the game want to attack? The game lagged right there, are you kidding me? Oh. It does it again? What? The same shit again? Oh no. Okay. I'm doing- I'm taking substantial less damage now though, that's nice. That talisman really helped. Okay, I fucked up. Uh, what the fu- What the- how we- I don't, I don't get it, man. Oh, what the hell is that? Is that a- I'm, I'm so distracted by the, the shiny on the ground. Please, let me get the shiny. I want the shiny. I couldn't get the shiny. <laughs> I found like one skull, but I don't, I don't care. I want to see what that was. Okay, so maybe he's like weak to lightning or something. He does have armor, so... I don't have any lightning weapons, so... And I don't even have... Okay, actually... There is something I have. Uh... I... Here. So this weapon... I forgot to have to actually change the scaling on it to what I want. Oh, it goes to A. Oh, shit! Wait, I can use this on it? Spectral Lance. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Oh, right, let's go. So that's literally just like a regular spear, but you can actually like throw it. What, what is this gonna do if I throw it? Oh, shit. So that's... This, this deals... Uh, Bleed, right? Or does it not? Oh, it does still bleed. Okay, that seems pretty good. I'm gonna use uh, the the poker for a little bit. The pizza poker. It has like one range, but it can actually bleed them, so that's nice. Alright, here we go. Only 43 boiled crabs left. This isn't the final boss or anything. I c I'm wondering what that's gonna be. Okay, here it comes. Hoyo! Missed me. Pizza poker. Ow. No, no you don't. I didn't know the moveset on this weapon, I'm just using it. Oh my god, that bleed though, what the fuck? That did so... Oh Jesus Christ, okay, I, dis okay, I guess I have to use this weapon. That's fucking awesome. Okay, bam. Bam. Oh, I missed. Okay, hit him. Hit him. He missed me, awesome. That bleed is insane, man. Okay, okay, okay. I can. I, I, I still have fucking 13 flasks. Okay. Throw. Didn't do shit. I can't even see anything now. Oh no. Okay. Oh no, I gotta, I gotta get out of here. Oh! That damage, man! What the fuck? What happened? What the hell is that damage? Get him before he bleeds. Okay, no. Before I bleed. Okay, heal, 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 heal. Use both, I guess. I don't care. Okay. This weapon is fucking ridiculous, man. What are I? Like, at least bleed, bleed is just that strong still? Okay. Holy shit, man. The A scaling. Bleed. Oh, come on. Alright. Alright, come on. Oh, okay, he missed me. Awesome. I'm so focused right now. <laughs> Jesus, I haven't gotten this cult before. Oh, he does this again. Oh, fuck, I missed. Okay. I'm gonna fuck up now. I'm gonna fuck up. Okay. Oh, 
and use this, I guess, a good measure. Can you stop doing that one move, please? I'm so close, man. Come on, please, please, game. No, 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 no. No! What, two? You can't use two? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, shit, man. Because you got them trees and shit. Oh, hit him. Alright, finish him off, please. No. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, shuck. I'm so close, come on, come on. Eee. 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 He's dead, yes! Oh! That- this weapon, man! What the hell? This is like the- oh. Okay, I'm really fucking glad he's dead. Oh! I was afraid I was gonna just spend all episode doing this. And Jesus Christ, that was fucking... Okay. So yeah, he has like four moves and then phase two he goes like, Okay, that wasn't that bad at all. I don't... I did have to like... I did have to Google to get the like high, high, enough, high enough level, but still this weapon. I'm so glad I remember that this weapon exists. Cause I was like... Oh yeah, he has like D and Arc or an Arcane for some reason. Ooh, okay, I gotta calm down a little bit after that. But still, like... Okay, th this weapon was like really slow, but then this one you could actually s swap around the weapon arch and the, and the scaling. So now this is this has A and uh, yeah, and this still bleeds even though it's a cult. That's fucking ridiculous, man. It has like one one rage, but still like sometimes the simple weapons are the most fitting ones, right? Jeez, it's also pretty good, uh, pretty cool weapon arch. I think this is a new one actually. You throw like a lance. Maybe not though, I don't know. Oh jeez, he only gave like 230,000 as well. I think you're supposed to fight him way earlier. Okay, I'm, I'm just like leveling up like fate at this point. I don't really think there's any point in me leveling up anymore. But I'm still like, I probably can use this character for PvP anyways after this, so I'll just keep going fate, I guess. Okay, so now we have this area. Jeez, man. Okay, I actually know what's in here a little bit. I saw one screenshot about where the last category fragments are. What is this? Didn't expect weak foe. Vigilance. Now I have like a cold sweat. Alright. So what's over here? Finally a new area. Oh yeah, we have this thing. Oh hell yeah. That looks so fucking cool. Oh man. Okay. Okay. So now... Uh, yeah, we go in here, I guess? I think this is where the sap comes down. Maybe not, though. I thought I was rusty. Like, what? Albinorix? Hello? Why are you here? Do you see me? Like, I'm not gonna fight you. But why does that wolf have, like, grace? He had, like, yellow eyes. Okay. Albinorix are here. Oh, there's, like, one Albinorix. For some reason. Man, this... this fucking... this area... Looks so... Oh, right, you can see, like, something up there in the, the Shadow Tower. It's so low. <laughs> I guess that white quartz thing might be, like, the Gate of Divinity or something, maybe. But, yeah. I wanted to say, actually, the the ceiling tree, the Shadow Tree that we burnt, it looks almost the same as the Scatter Tree. Like, it... Or, like, the thing that curves around it. Like, this thing, it looks almost identical. Uh, I can't go back and look at it, unfortunately, because it's, I mean, because it's, like, it's burnt down, but this thing right here? Oh, yeah, that's, that's fucking cool, man. Okay, there's something behind this building. That's my question. I saw there was, like, roots down here. Or s some, like, root root floor kind of thing. But, yeah, that's just so fucking cool. Uh, oh, these, these uh, sunflowers are actually looking up at the, at the tree. Why is that? Are they even sunflowers? Scatter tree chalice. Okay. Wait, was it supposed to come come through here? Oh, I see. Oh, I see. It's not like a root area. I thought it was like an underground area, but this is like a bunch of roots. Okay. So it technically did not get spoiled. So here's the rest of the scatter tree fragments. That's all I know. There's five, right? Yeah. One. Two. 
three, four, and five. Yep. Yeah. That's it. That's all, that's all of them. What's this? Busted bone shard. Oh, okay, cool. So this is... This is where the the scattered tree fragments fall down, right? Well done. Oh, the fall leaves tell a story, right? Time for sleep. Visions of bird. Try fire. The like lord vessel. Oh. So these, I, I'm assuming the things that are like raining down might be like scattered tree fragments. I well, I guess technically, yeah, they are scattered scattered tree fragments. But yeah, still, guess a lot of like. Blessed bone shards over here, like a lot of corpses. That's so fucking cool though. So they built this whole like gate. I actually went around the gate. I thought there was something in here. Or you could go inside a building or something. But yeah. So this is where they collected the... Up dog. <laughs> What's up dog? Yeah, so this is where they collected all the... Fragments. I see. So fucking cool. Alright. So now... Uh, I guess we go fight Meteor? Mother Meteor? I won't see what this is. Oh, wait, there's a house over here. I didn't even see that. I'm literally blind. Hello, Albinoric. Excuse me, I'm just gonna pass through. Don't mind me. Okay. Goddamn. Shrub shot. Oh, cool. Talisman. Is that like a bow talisman? This say? Visions of Lumber? Why? It's just an Albanoric lady, right? Okay, goodbye lady. Well, I'm glad I got this weapon. Uh, like a long time ago from one of those uh, blood fiends. It really has like... 105 blood loss and even A scaling in Arcane on Occult. It does, it does a lot of physical as well, it's just so fucking good. How much is the deal if I put it on, on bleed? Like, even more? Okay, let me just do this first. Here. Holy shit, that's a lot. Oh, that's 155 poison buildup as well. Jesus. And it's still C in Arcane though, but also strength. Yeah, I think I think this is the best the best one. Oh man. Holy shit. I can't believe I went that long without using this weapon. It might not be that good, I might have just gotten lucky in that fight, or Yeah, because bleed is just really strong still. Alright, let me just see what's over here really quick. Because I remember those like people who tried to jump around this cliffside. <laughs> Wait, that's a great sword, right? This one? Alright, let me just... Praise a sword fighter, yeah. Cool. So yeah, right here. There's no blood scent anymore. Okay, so people didn't know you could just walk through that statue. Which I don't think I would have known either unless I was told about it, so... Fair, I guess. Okay, let's just go fight... Um, Mother Meteor. I think that's it, actually, afterwards. I think we only have Inner Elim left. That's gonna be... Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna... Level up only one time on this. I want to try this boss first on level 19, so I don't like cheese it or whatever. I know level 20 like is even stronger. What is this? What is woman called again? I don't. I, I can't remember right now. But it was not Yuri. That's all I know. And the lady down here, or the person down here that invaded me, that's also a sword hand of night. So it's called Anna. What's her name? Oh yeah, Jolan. That was it. Sword hand of night, Jolan. That was it. Okay, let me equip my lantern. There we go. We're at the point in the game where I wanted to use uh, cool movesets. Like, uh, where is it? Is it all the way at the bottom? Yeah, these for example. They, they still have B in the, or in arcane scaling, which is pretty good. But I think we're at the point in the game where I'm just I just kind of have to mid max. I've tried everything else. Like this, th this weapon uh, right here isn't cutting it anymore. It just doesn't deal enough damage. Uh, it's, it still has pretty good range, but I mean the bleed is just bleed is just so strong. So, <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay, man, I'm not sitting comfortably. Com comfortably, comfortably. Okay, let's pop this as well. Hello. 
How's it going? It's fucking music, man. But oh, I did it three times. Okay, okay. Well, that damage isn't too bad, actually. Also, my damage isn't too bad either. I actually prefer. What the fuck? I actually prefer fat weapons. I was gonna say. Because they, they give you way more versatility, so weapons they hit really hard, but unless they like stagger, you kind of struggle a little bit. Okay, just hit. Ow, oh, fuck. No idea how to dodge that attack. Ow. Okay, yeah, so they, 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 they put him, they put people inside her stomach right there, and then they come out as fingers. I think that's it. Ow. Which is really fucked up, if you ask me. It didn't say it as well on like the finger mushroom, like people want to turn into fingers. Like right next to this arena. Okay, I got greedy. Actually, almost killed me for it. Okay, so it's done now. Alright, oh, cool. And now we go second phase! This is way easier than last time, that's for sure. Oh my god, that has some range. Like Jesus. Alright, here comes this shit again. Okay. Here comes spin wind move again. Bam. 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 Oh yeah, I know um, this takes more damage. Ow. Come on, bleed. Okay, fuck. No! I tried. Oh, does it hit me? Please, dodge! Okay, the second one just hits you. I actually killed her the first time almost, so the, the, when I swapped my armor around. I don't know, it just, it just didn't feel like a very fun fight, but now it's not, not actually almost dead though. This weapon is really fucking strong. I should have swapped way earlier. <laughs> it's really fucking strong. Like Jesus. It, okay, okay, she does this again. Oh no, 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 no. What? How do I. Where am I supposed to. Oh yeah, you have to go in, I think. Maybe that's it. I wonder if we can just run and dodge this, actually. Okay, here comes... Spin to win. Oh, she spawned like critter zombie. Okay, hit this. I got... I got really. Okay, four times, right? Ow. Only three times? Oh, fuck me. What the hell is happening right now? Please just heal. Heal through it. Oh, yeah, the laser. Jesus Christ. How are you supposed to see this? Go! Oh, I guess you have to run around or something? Or go in? I don't know. Okay, now she should be dead forever, right? Okay, go! I tried to pass dodge. I couldn't do it. Okay, she should be dead now. I'm, I should be dead now. I'm, I'm so lucky that hit me. Okay, you dead. Okay. I don't know if I cheese this boss or not. Oh, what? No, what? Oh, she just left. Okay. Well. She just left. Yeah, I should have swapped this weapon a long time ago. That B to A scaling, and the bleed as well, is just fucking ridiculous, man. That, that bleed did so much fucking damage. Oh, uh, alright. So she just left you like another plane of existence, I guess. Okay, I'm on 78 now. Alright. So, let's read uh, these things that I got, because I forgot to read them. Because I'm just... I'm so, like, focused on something else today. I just want to progress and not be stuck forever like I did last time. Let's read this first. Remember, it's a wild boar rider. Commander Gaius. Both were as elder brothers, brothers to the lion, and both were cursed from, from birth. Okay, yeah, so... Radon. In spite of, or perhaps because of this very reason, Gaius was both Mesmer's friend and the leader of his men. Oh, okay, I see. So bo both the boar and Gaius? Both were as elder brothers to the lion. And both were cursed from birth. Yeah, okay. So the lion is Rodan. They were both cursed from birth with, um, I guess, Omen? Also, I was, I was told uh, being Omen is actually uh, your... Um, you have like wraiths from from the from the age of the crucible that 
did not fully die or whatever, and they linger kind of, and then when people are not reborn through the earth tree, or maybe maybe even sometimes when they are reborn through the earth tree, they, they get these horns and these uh, crucible remnants born with them. And then they just get exiled, I guess, so... Yeah, also, um, okay, let, let me do that afterwards. I, I got this weapon right here, um, which I'll... I got off camera, so I'll read that afterwards. Uh, but yeah. This is a shop shot talisman. Talisman depicting an archer wielding a longbow. Boots attack, power, position, aim, shots. Oh, okay. They'll be Noric archers for in a class of their own, and their deadly long range specialists struck fear into the hearts of men. That makes sense. They're fucking badass with the bow. Okay, here's Metir. Hew into the scatter tree. The mother of all two fingers and the finger creepers. Finger Creepers was in turn a magnificently gleaming daughter of the Greater Will and the first shooting star to fall upon the lands between. Wait, really? So that's actually the mother of the two fingers. The mother of all all two fingers. Yeah, there's only there's not only one two fingers, there are more two fingers. And finger creepers. Was in turn a magnificently gleaming daughter of the Greater Will. And the first shooting star to fall upon the lands between. So was this was this like the Elden Stars spell? It said, because the Elden Stars said that like uh, a bright light came from the skies and landed in the lands between a long time ago. Alright, yeah, so literally the the greater will is from space. Because, yeah, we're, we're getting into some cosmic horror shit here now. I guess it, it, it's always been, but I guess a lot of people just thought that the Greater Will was like this divine outer god, like kind of like a Christian god, I guess. But no, it's literally just like a giant, or whatever this is. I mean, this is the mother of the fingers, right? Yeah, wall fingers. So every like enemy that's associated with hands and fingers in this game comes from this this creature, I guess. They're they're transformed by by Metir. So what happens to Ymir now? I guess I'll go have to go back up and see. That's really fucking cool. Okay, so this weapon, um, I found it in in Inner Elim. There was like a hidden staircase where where there was um, yeah, down here I think. Yeah, cleansing chamber, anti room. There was no wait, no, that that's wrong. That's before this like fight over here. Uh, there was like a hidden staircase somewhere, and if if you went down, there was like a huge like parkour parkour area, platforming area, and then. You went down further further enough, and then you found a scatter fragment, and then you also found this weapon. Which, this weapon, I, I actually know about, because it was um, it was cut content people found before the DLC came out. I think it even had the same name, or I didn't, I don't remember. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, it's a faith weapon. So what happens is that, hold on. It's like hidden away in some like obscure chest as well. Wait, what? Okay, yeah. This thing. So what happens is that when you attack enemies with it, these, the blades will start glowing, and then it deals more holy damage, and if you use the weapon arch, then it'll consume all the the like holy effect in it. So yeah, it deals a lot of holy damage, that's pretty cool. And it looks almost kind of like wax a little bit, like the wax weapons. It actually like, I think it's like glowing as well right here, it might just be the lighting. No, it's actually glowing. It's like glowing white right now, I think. You can see like on the bottom left right there, or that might be the light. Okay, no, no, never mind. I'm just, yeah. Oh, fucking cool area. Okay, let's. Uh, okay, let's go back up and talk to Ymir and shit and Jolan. I guess they're gonna be angry with me now because I killed Metir. Mother of fingers. Oh. Okay. Hi hey guys. Are they just gone now? What happened? What have you done? Oh. You've wounded Count Emir most irreparably. Oh. So oh. He wishes for your death, and I must attend to the Count's concerns. I'm sorry, Jalan, but this is uh, yeah. Oh fuck! Okay, that hurts. What if I just use... hold on, let me just, uh... Fuck, this fucking... this... Yeah, she got stuck in it as well. Like this. Like this. Okay, so she actually dodges, what? Yeah, that is like no damage almost. 
It's not very cool though, I guess. Are you gonna heal? Okay, you can do that, actually. Oh, fuck me. Good, calm down. Chill on. My dear star, a fine mother. You will be. My shining star. What? Grant me a mother's strength. Look what? What? At my fingers. I will be Are you? And I will be the only mother. What? Count me your mother of fingers. Oh, now, now he become the new mother. What? This is some fucking bloodborne shit, man. Like Jesus. It's so fucking cool, though. Oh, he, oh, he uses this shit. He uses Miriam's vanishing and shit. Okay, you have to die now. I'm sorry, Ymir. You were so cool, man. Oh god, that hurts a lot. Holy shit. You were so cool, man. Why do you have to do this? What? I can't even... Okay. My, my, I'm not... I'm not sitting comfortably, as I said before. This is... It's, a, it's like lagging. What? Okay, bleed. There we go. Okay, kill, kill this fucker. Oh my god, okay, that hurts a lot. Why are you attacking? Use the pillar to your advantage. Man, he just, he's just gonna keep running away, isn't he? Okay, yeah. Okay. Can you stop, please? You're just, you're reminding me of fucking, okay, you're dead now, goodbye. Oh, man. Hmm. Oh, I got his whole, uh, his whole hat. Or his whole set, or uh, rather. Okay, maternal staff. High priest hat. High priest robe. Well... Man, Ymir, why did you have to be such a weirdo? I, you were so cool, man. I should have known to trust him. Because he, he was being so... So overly friendly with me. Okay, yeah, so that's pretty interesting. So he, uh... Yeah, okay, cool. Bell bearing. Oh yeah, you can just go back and get all these items. Bell bearing on count the mother of fingers found upon his perished flesh of the twin maiden husks. Yep. Yeah. Holy shit, this looks fucking awesome. Staff. Staff, staff, staff. Oh, it has, it has arcane! Boost finger sorcery. Oh! Staff of count Ymir who made himself a mother of fingers. So there's more. Well, I guess it, I guess it can be more. Carried for want of a tail Carried for want of tail fingers of his own. That's his finger sorceries. The crystal ball, though representative of a microcosm, would not receive any sign. Is that like universe kind of? Hmm. <clears throat> right. Hat of Count Ymir. Circle of the sign at the top represents a greater will and its lightless abyss, imparting increased intelligence and arcane to the wearer. Lightless abyss. Yeah. The account of Ymir instructed Rilana in the sorcerer's arts, he abandoned his allegiance to the moon. It was merely the closet of the celestial bodies, nothing more. So he was... Okay, I see. Conceals abundance of squirming beneath. Gold embroidery decorates a purple cloth with a jeweled roof that sparkles like a flower wet with dew. Soft and well tailored. Yeah, these boots look... I gotta, I gotta equip these fucking boots, man. <laughs> what the hell is that? Where are they? My... Oh, here. Okay. Holy shit, these boots. Oh, that looks... Okay, that looks fucking hilarious, actually. Like, Jesus. Uh... Alright, there's a lot of cool armor sets this, this time around. So I guess his connection with with Jolan and stuff. We did get the Jolan armor set or whatever. This one, Helm of Night. Flowing lines in the seeming seeming shape of a fingerprint adorn the surface in prisons to wear an utterly lightless dark, like I guess the greater will or the universe. Bestowed upon those born deep underground and draining them as sword hands of night. Huh. I can't believe there's another, like, faction within Glintstone as well, like, the Finger faction. So it, it boosts, uh, Glint... yeah. Oh yeah, wait, Jolan is here now. Wait, are they both here? Or, no. Jolan? I'm sorry, Jolan. Wait, 
Ooh. Oh my god. What do I give her? Do I give her... Oh shit, this is fucking difficult actually, because... If I give her Grace, Iris or Grace, then... Maybe I'm overthinking it. I'm thinking because it's a sword and a knight, right? Which, like, conceals the wear. Oh, let me read this again. If I... It conceals the wear and utterly lightless dark, right? Prison to wear an utterly lightless dark. Maybe the occultation I won't even do anything. Um, what did it say? Time for back. What? Dude, that the... First off, alright. The night is ever dark. I need the stars. Okay, yeah, she's telling telling me. Give me light. Okay. Here we go. Grace. Here we go. Oh. oh, there we go. Sword of the Night Jalon. Jeez. Okay, I guess I'll have more information now about her. Like I just said. That's kind of fucked up though that I got her like spirit ashes or whatever. Spirit of a sword hand granted light by the Irates of Grace. Wields a sword of bottomless black that penetrates and enemy's guard. So sh should I have given her the Irates of Occultation and gotten like the same... Spirit Ash, but a little bit different. It's a bottomless black that penetrates enemy's guard, okay. Though it was not by the shining star that she longed for, thus was her night illuminated. But this was an at times blinding light and threatened to expunge the night entirely. Okay, I see. So maybe I should have given her the Iris of Occultation instead. But still, at least she like didn't... I guess she died? I'm... Man, what the hell is going on with my hair right now? This is fucking ridiculous, man. This game is making me upset. Okay. Alright. Cool. So I guess that's... I guess that's it. What a fucking cool area, man. What a fucking cool side quest. Is he, is he gonna be here? Is he gonna be here or is he dead now forever? I guess because I killed him, but I only fought like a, like an invader version of Jalan. Okay, I don't think there's something else here. Maybe... Maybe there will be something out with Yuri's grave? Oh yeah, there is something here. What is this? Is the grave gone now? Oh, it's so fucking dark, man. I can't even see anything. The grave is still here. What is this? Cherishing, cherishing fingers. That's a spell he used. Turn, turn to cast her with a mesh of hefty fingers. What is the scale with? Okay, only int. Finger sorcerer count Ymir, aspiring mother of fingers. Surrounds the caster with a mesh of fifty fingers that wards all manners of projectiles, rather magical or physical nature, away from the caster, charting its pot potency. Okay, so you, yeah, wards off all manners of projectiles. It's fucking cool. Their fingers look after their mother, or perhaps that is merely what the mother wishes to believe. It's like the um, the snake uh, thing in Bloodborne, I guess. Snake comes up from underneath you, or the enemy you're pursuing, I guess, I'm not sure. Okay, can we go under here again? Can. Is it gonna be different now, or... Can you go back in the arena or something? I mean, you can probably, yeah, you can still warp down here. Finger birthing grounds. That makes sense. The finger episode. Oh man, I think we're actually pretty close to the end now. I think next episode I'm gonna go fight uh, all the NPCs and then see what the final boss is, which I assume is Mikkel at this point. I really do believe that. Oh wait, no, I also have to kill... Uh, oh yeah, this guy down here. I, I forgot about this guy. Okay, okay, we're gonna do that uh, next time, I think. Just wanna see what's over here, if there's anything else in this area. Which I don't think there is. Can I use this again? I can. Just gonna, like resummon the boss or some shit. Oh. Okay, it just takes me down here. Okay. I see. Alright. So I guess we go over here. 
I'll give it like one attempt, I guess. We still have like 10 minutes or whatever. Yeah, okay. So this boss, I have no idea how we're supposed to do here. What level am I? Okay, I'm 20 now. So that should be, I uh, should be enough. Maybe I'll like accidentally cheese him or whatever. Man, I just, I can't figure out how to sit today. It doesn't make any sense to me. All right, here we go. Fucking cool entrance. So now I'm max level as well. Should should be no big deal at all. I think um, what's his name again? Can't remember. One of the diseases down here. The only air. Yeah, that's his name. Okay, he. Holy shit! He still takes like one damage, but I take one damage as well. Never mind. Okay, that, that is actually very little amount of damage. I might just kill him right now. Get back here, man. Okay, here comes this shit again. Just gonna like spin around and shit when the horse comes. Then he's gonna spin around again, and the horse comes back, back again. And then, hits me. Okay, then now I can attack him. Ow. Okay, I take one damage. How come this boss has so much health, but... Like, I'm, I'm dealing barely any damage to him, still. Is it, is it like, weakness or something? Okay, that's... I think I was about to be a way earlier. <laughs> but still, I don't really... I don't know why... Yeah, okay. Alright, I got the blue fire! Jump! Jump over it! Jump over the blue fire. Okay, okay, I see. I can't, I can't, I can't reach him. It's just making sense to me. Okay, he still deals one damage. Can you even bleed him? That's the question. Okay, he missed me. That was so lucky. Okay, I'm just cheating this whole fight. <laughs> There's like no skill involved in this. I guess Commander Guy is just like the, f the last boss you're supposed to fight here. It's really strange how you find a lot of bosses, right? And then you're way under level, then you come back and you just like kind of kill them. I was hoping that was not going to be the case in the DLC, but... I guess it makes sense. Alright. Please, man, just get over here. I still suck ass, and I can't... Alright, he's gonna do this shit again. What? No, no! I might be done here! Okay, I'm not dead. I, I, I should be dead, but I'm not dead. Frostbite! E, 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 e. Okay, okay, okay. Ow. Horse, horse, horse. Okay, I'm not dead. I have one health. Jesus Christ. The frostbite really sinks, man. What's he doing now? Okay, he's doing this again. Okay, I'm dead. I don't, I don't know how I'm not dead. I should be dead. Okay, the frostbite wore off. Come on, he's so close. I'm, not, I'm, I'm gonna fumble. I'm gonna fumble this boss fights. Yeah, okay, I'm done. Oh, okay. Yeah, at this point, I'm like... I don't know if I'm just good now, or if... I literally just cheese the boss. I mean, I'm level 20, of course I just cheese the boss. But I think it might be a combination of both, honestly. I don't think I bled him once, that fight. I don't think bleed works. Maybe... Mm, okay, I'll try this. I'll try this. I like to swap a lot. Just... It's kind of wonky sometimes. Okay, here we go. Still have this equipped. This, uh, Dragon Crest Great Shield Talisman. Maybe I should have my robustness up so I won't get frostbitten. That's really terrible to get frostbitten. I take so much more damage. Oh, hey man. Ow. 
I couldn't dodge in time. The game is running a lot smoother now though. Maybe they had actual like performance updates and stuff. It was very nice. Okay, that damage is a little bit better. Alright. That's really delayed. Alright. He has very unpredictable moves, man. Like, I don't know when I'm supposed to attack. I'm just kind of going for it instead. Okay, he has Rot now. Awesome. I... Okay. Apparently you can stagger him. This ooze, man. Okay, now we back off. Just gonna do this. No, never mind. I thought I should do, the, do this, uh, this move. Where, where's he going now? Is he even going to phase 2, or...? Okay, he's getting... Okay, there we go. He's getting fucked up now, Jesus Christ. Ow. Okay, I'm getting fucked up now, Jesus Christ. Jump, man! Alright. He still has Rot. He's gonna die in two seconds. That missed me, okay. And... I should have fought him way earlier. <laughs> And it's dead, okay. Oh boy. Remember some putrescence. Okay, let me remember to read this this time actually. Putrescence. Yeah. Oh yes, like fucking skulls in his weapon. I didn't even see that. All tainted flesh eventually becomes putrescence, and this clump of it imbibed Sanctrina's nectar, which granted it eternal rest, and so it was that putrescence became her knight. So it's, it's like sleeping. I guess the other... Huh. So yeah, yeah, all tainted flesh eventually becomes putrescence. That's what I thought. So the people up above are also, or like the blobs up above are also like people. There were people at some point. This clump of it imbibes Sanctrina's nectar. It's granted it eternal rest. Okay. So, what did it say? What did it say again? All tainted flesh. Okay, I'm gonna go back to Roundtable Hold after this and uh, see what I can I can get from there with this. It's gonna be a little bit long episode, but I don't, I don't care. I still have. No, I'm just like breezing through the game. I felt really stuck at at one point, like last episode. Uh, so I I really did have to go off camera and I felt. Hello? Okay, yeah. I just want to say, like, I, I really felt pressured to go off camera and grind and Google a bunch of stuff. Because I, I didn't want to spend four hours backtracking. But now I feel kind of robbed at the same time. What is this? Just more Nectar Blood Burgeons? Okay, cool. So he was in here just, like, feasting on these. I guess. Hey, man. Who are you? Or what are you? Are you saying Trina? You're holding, like, a baby. Or are you just sleeping? Oh, I see. You're sleeping, but you're still standing. Okay, so... Wait. Should I... What happened here? Well, let me just... Well, they had research. To what the fuck? Did all... I guess I used the, uh, like, inf infinite sleep thing or something? Okay. Oh, cool. Sanctrina Disciple Cookbook 3. So is this Sanctrina? Hold on. Lulling branch. That's like the bewitching branch. Oh, here it is! Slowly builds up sleep while it gradually restores... Restoring FP. Tree branch, blessed, blessed with the velvety purple incantation. Okay, yeah. This is Sanctrina's bewitching branch. Pierce oneself, causing gentle buildup of sleep. FP gradually recovers during this time. When the sleep reaches the threshold of causing temporary fogginess, no FP loss is incurred. What does that mean? Reaches, reaches the threshold of causing temporary fogginess. Okay, so you, it, it inflicts sleep on, you, on yourself. No FP loss is incurred. Oh yeah, because normally sleep and madness removes your FP as well. I forgot about that. In the midst of drowsiness, there is... 
the will to awaken, feeling that rise from the depths of one's heart. Feelings that rise from the depths of one's heart. Okay. So, hello? Are you Sangtrina? You're talking to me, but you're not talking to me? Oh. I probably shouldn't do this, but I will anyways. What did I do? Oh. I knew it. I fucking knew it. So what happens now? Am I just dead forever? That was the concoction that... Okay, yeah. So that was... I think that was what... Maybe that's what Moore found and gave it to Theolier. Also, where the hell is Theolier? Is he's is, is down here, right? Do I just not see him? Sang it is Sangtrina! Sangtrina is down here. So yeah, that literally is Sangtrina. Holy shit, man. Jeez. That's fucking awesome. Okay, so don't imbibe the nectar. No. Alright. So where is Theolier? He has to be here, right? Did I, did I miss him or something? Huh. What if I... Um, what if I craft one of these and use it? Oh, cool. Ow. Builds up sleep. Also restores FP. Oh, okay. That's actually very useful. Because you also get a lot of these throughout the game. Okay, so it's building up sleep slowly. I just want to know what happened to the earlier man. Okay, so what happens if I use um, one of... Where is it? Did I... Yeah, one of these. Theolier's Concoction. I don't know if I mentioned by the way, but yeah, it's it did say... Um, purported, to cap purported to be capable of putting even the Nature Dragon to sleep. That's why... Um, oh. Okay, I didn't ruin my FP. Nice. That's why this uh, dragon lady over here in the, at the Grand Ultra Dragon Communion, why she didn't die and she woke up instead, because... Uh, yeah. It was powerful enough to put one of them to sleep, but not forever. Okay, so I don't even know what to do now. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just gonna... Just use... Use this thing. Hold on, where is it? Here. Alright, go. I'm dead. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> I don't know what I expected, to be honest. Okay, I guess we'll have to go find Theolier now. But I, I have no idea where he, he could even be. He's gotta be down there somewhere, right? Dung. What about, like... Try death. Can I kill Sanctrina or something? Sad not to help. Start circling around. Didn't expect the lover, what? All this fear. Here? No? So, like, jeez, man. Okay, yeah, she's sleeping. Makes sense, I guess. Hmm. Alright, so I have no idea where uh, Theolier could be. I guess I'm gonna have to go find them. But before that, actually, uh, I know Egon is over here at the foot of the Jagged Peak, which I saw while I was in between recordings, so I'm gonna go talk to him right now and see what he has to say. Kinda late to do it, but I don't care. It's been like two weeks, let me alone. Is he... yeah, I think it's... Yeah, I think it's at... Where he showed up last time after I killed two dragons in this in this little, little area. Oh yeah, he dropped something. Dropped like an item. Didn't want to jump. Okay, here he is. Yeah. Oh, he dropped his whole armor set. 
Oh, cool. Egon's belt bearing. Yeah, okay. Egon's harpoon. Oh, here's this thing. Egon's great bow. Weapon of uh, great... Yeah, okay, awesome. Okay, he actually sells... Uh, yeah, he, I think he sells ammo for this weapon. He sells arrows. Covered in that gashet lift by claws. Great bow fashioned from two dragon's bone. Two dragon bones bound with coarse rope. It's fucking awesome, man. Broken Drake Warrior Egon. Viewed with Egon's obsession and enhancing the power of Egon's harpoon. Egon's Drake Hunt. Skill of Egon. Drake Hunter. I don't know if it's Egon or Igon, by the way. I think I'm just gonna keep saying. I think I'm just gonna say Igon from now on. Where did the bow before unleashing a twisted shot with the great bellow that considerably enhances its power? Cool. So this thing. This looks a lot like the scavenger helm or whatever it's called. Helm of the broken Drake Warrior Igon from a set of armor comprised of a miscellany of parts. This tattered protective wear is shaped like a bugle. Poor scavenger of battlefields found honor through dragon communion. Fifty belongings are attached to this tattered piece of protective wear. It's just a chain gauntlet, no more than a mishmash of tatters and remnants stripped from the corpse found in the aftermath of a battle. Cloth smells utterly foul. Man, you're such an awesome character, Igon. Or Egon, or whatever. Fucking fought bail together and shit. Fucking awesome. Okay. I'm gonna try to go find um, the other year right now. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be back after that. Actually, there is this island out here. Where is it? This island. Maybe it's here actually. How do you get to this island? There's a house over there as well. Can you like cross the water or some shit? Hmm. Okay, I guess that has to wait. That, yeah. I guess finding Tillier has to wait. Maybe he's out here actually. Maybe. Come on. There he's done. There's gotta be a way over here. Some. Okay, let me just uh, get this as well. Oh wait, I didn't get this before. I didn't even see this. Gravekeeper, Gravekeeper's cookbook. Oh yeah, here. Okay, yeah, literally right here. Cool, okay. Awesome. Uh, yeah. Peak bone arrow. What the hell is a peak bone? What are you even saying to me right now? Peak bone arrow. Oh, okay, you need... You need oh, okay, cool. Arrow whittle from animal bones, the tip is soaked in putrescence, releases a white smoke at the point of impact, luring in foes of human build who are not in combat and during their aggression. Effective them humans even if they're older than a combat stage craft of item. Okay, cool, it like attracts them. That's pretty interesting. Okay, I, I really don't, like I want to go down there, but also I think it's going to be a super long episode. So maybe I'll, I think I'll cut it right down here actually. So this is like an actual cave though. It, it is a cave, right? Wait, you can go here as well? What? For what is this? What is it? Beware of explosion. Come on. Am I- did I go in from like a super, like, wrong area or something? I found like a super hidden cave or whatever. Hello? What the fuck am I right now? Is there like a boss here? It's like a giant crab or some shit? Yeah? Oh, it's a lobster. Oh my god, not, not you. Oh my god, he's fucking massive actually. Holy shit! He's way bigger than other ones. Okay, let me just hit again. I'll just hit him over and over again, I guess. Okay, I forgot I'm like way over level actually. I just probably like tank this. Okay, there we go. Oh, yeah, yeah, cool. Cool game. So, uh, what's up here? Nothing. Is this like the actual way to go or... Oh no, this is to the island, what? Okay, I need to go back the other way uh, again, I guess, afterwards. 
It looped like all the way around. I thought this this was the the wrong way. I dude, I always go the right way first. I I don't I don't know how this is possible, but it, it always happens. Always. Hey grabs. Okay, so that's that's here. Cool. Can I get on torrent? Thank you. Ugh. Fucking nose, man. Okay, so uh, why did I come over here? The, like, there's like this house. It's a mausoleum, right? Is there anything else on this island? There's hopefully a stake right there. All right. I don't think there's anything else here actually. Doesn't doesn't look like it. Okay, let's just go in. I don't I don't care. So the nameless mausoleum. Boss, 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 boss. What is this gonna be? Like another NPC person guy, kind of. Hello? Dancer of Rana. Yeah, I knew it. Oh my god, you look fucking awesome. What? What the hell? Okay, so there's like twin blades? Or no, dual wielding? What the fuck? Did you use the weapon art? I tried to like hold forward. Okay, Dark Souls 2 reference, I see. I see game. So it's the fucking pyromancing ladies. I see what you mean. Light, light build as well. Okay, okay, let me just uh, do this. There is no escape for you. You must accept. Wait, well, okay, there is escape for you apparently. You must accept your death. You're out now, huh? Then stop dodging. Ow. I've missed somehow. Okay, it's, it's, it's just one hit, come on now. Holy shit! What? You have like fucking dancing moves, man. Yeah, you are you are dancing. Did you have like the dancing curl or whatever? Did you train Melania? It, it, it did you that did it? <laughs> You're red though. Oh, dancing blade of Ronald. Okay, cool. Dancer's hood. Dancer's dress. Bracer. Oh, cool. Wait, can you actually interact with this like thing? No, okay, you can't. Well, that's cool. Uh, let's read this. Oh, B and Dex already. Jeez. Oh, f what the fuck? Decorative swords or blades with impassioned. Red. Pair of weapons made to be wielded in both hands. Used by the dancers of Rana. Strikes enemies with a dancing assault with execute when executing a strong attack. Okay. An ending dance. A furious dance formed by a succession of slashing attacks. Hold the button down to sustain the dance for as long as the stamina allows. Oh, okay. You can just do it forever. That makes sense. It's like the the, gra the weed cutter thing. Grass cutter. Bright red hood of the Rana dancers enhances the power of dancing attacks. Dancing attacks. I guess, yeah, there, I guess there actually are a lot, a lot more weapons on that, like the dancing curved swords as well. Dancer Rana is one of burning passion, and the most passionate dancers never allow their fiery dance to end, losing even their names as they dance on. To the passion fades to see the dancer's flame extinguished. So to protect the sword wielding hand. Oh, they all uh, enhance the power of dance attacks, this looks fucking awesome, man. Long black trousers worn underneath the deep crimson dress of the Renal dancers. Oh man. Okay, this episode is long overdue. I'm gonna have to uh, go back to. Uh, fuck. Run table hold and look at all this shit and then end it right there. Yes. And then I'm gonna go find the air off camera, I guess. And I'll uh, I'll come back when I when I found them. Okay, so we have like three remembrances at this point. Okay, here's the first one. Be Petrescence. Okay, yeah. Uh, Petrescence Cleaver. Arcane scaling, actually. Okay, cool. Can be a little bit by the Petrescent Knight. The great cleaver of hardened Petrescence affixed to an arch fashioned from human bones. Gains power from the wielder's arcane attributes. Cool. I might actually get this. Spinning guillotine. Hold the putrid blade at, at both ends. An arch body backwards to deliver a powerful overhead chop from the limpids. Deliver follow-up attacks for longest time allows. Strong attack performance of leap, followed by spin attack. Okay, cool. That, that's literally just like uh, the Orphan of Kals weapon, by the way. <laughs> okay, sorcery. 
faith in it. Okay. Launches a, a world of protesting jets that explodes shortly after impact and bay the area in Ghost Flame. It was Ghost Flame, okay, cool. An age long past, death was burned by Ghost Flame, even the remains of tainted flesh were given equal treatment in death. What even is tainted flesh? I don't. Okay. So there's this guy, Commander Gaius. Swordlands. Sea and strength. Oh, that's the, the spinning gravity thrust thing. Okay, cool. Open bones wielded by Commander Gaius. Combination of great sword and lance. Oh, okay, cool. Weighty and capable of being brought to bear with great force. This arm armament shows its true potential when you use a stride and mount. Gaius himself was never without his boar. Cool. Gravity skill owned by the disciples of an alabaster lord. Oh yeah, the alabaster guys. Remember those. Uses gravitational power to hang in the air before rotating the body and charging forward. Additional input allows for follow-up attack. And this, Blades of Stone. Okay, that was this like AoE thing he did. Gravity manipulating sorcerer, Commander Gaius. Pulls blade like clumps of rocks from the earth. Sharding and enhances potency. Gaius and Redon were good rivals in their youth, and this sorcerer is a product of their friendly competition. Ha! Huh. So you're telling me Gaius could have been like Redon if he was a demigod. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. They were really similar, so it, it makes sense, I guess. Uh, okay, now... Meteor. There's, there's both of these staffs. Staff of the Great Beyond. Oh, this is the staff he wanted to use, right? Ymir? But he never got it? Or he... yeah. Staff fashioned from the tail fingers of Meteor, the mother of the fingers, and the microcosm raised aloft over the crux they form. Catalyst for casting both sorceries and incantations. Oh, you can use both! Oh, it needs both int and faith. That makes sense. I guess it's because it's like both. It's both both stars and the golden order or the greater will or whatever. But I guess they come from the same thing. The mother received signs from the greater will from the beyond from from the beyond of the microcosm. Despite being broken and abandoned, she kept waiting for another message to come. Hmm. Okay, yeah, so being broken and abandoned, this is, uh... <laughs> I, know I'm like, I know I'm making a lot of comparisons in this playthrough, but this is like, um... That one boss in Bloodborne, I don't, I don't remember her name. That was like, abandoned. On, uh, in uh, Yardum. What's her name again? Fucking, uh... Ebrietas. Ebrietas, that's it. Yeah, that's, that's cool. Snow skill. What's this? Gazing finger? Is this a weapon? Yeah, strength weapon. The, he the head- oh, it's a head! The head of Meteor, the finger mother, will as a weapon without modification. From within the center of the fingerprint are the wrinkles, the creature's- Wait, what? From within the center of the fingerprint are the wrinkles, the creature's foremost protrusion. A tiny wart-like eye gazes vacantly into the beyond. Cold Tower's resentment. Skill performed as a violent bow. Using a finger's foremost protrusion. Oh yeah, that's that thing, so you like, slam down. Resentment builds as it is forced to bow, making it explode with anger. Hold button down to further increase resentment. How did they manage to make, like, a weapon art into lore? Cold Tower's resentment. That's really fucking cool. Man, I got three remembrances this, this episode. Ugh. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna get this, because this, this sounds pretty interesting. I don't have enough strength, never mind. Uh, I, I can actually um, go get another one of... Wait, what? Didn't I... Don't I have this... Wait, hold on. I thought I had another one of these. Did I already use it? I thought I had another one of the... Oh no, this one. I'm such an idiot. I was looking for red. I can get another one of these if I want. Oh no, I can't. Never mind. I thought you could get two. <laughs> ah, shit. All right. Well, that's marginally less useful. All right, well, that's the end of this episode. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. <laughs>